A legal planning meeting will be held when the social worker has concerns and believes that a court order may be necessary to protect a child. The professionals at the meeting will discuss and decide whether the threshold criteria has been met to initiate proceedings. The local authority will then seek legal advice and discuss the case further. They will determine whether it is in the best interest of the child to provide the family further support or whether care proceedings should be initiated. Care proceedings can be initiated either immediately or pre-proceedings could be initiated first. During the meeting, the local authority will also discuss whether any assessments should be undertaken. If the outcome of the meeting recommends care proceedings should be issued, then a draft care plan should be recommended for the child and will be discussed at the meeting. The legal planning meeting will be held between the children's social worker, local authority managers and the legal representative for the local authority. Parents and family members of the child are encouraged to attend and engage with the process. The role of the solicitor at the meeting is as an advisor and to offer support to the parent. At the conclusion of the legal planning meeting, the local authority may give the parents more support and time to improve their parenting. They could also apply for a court order to protect the child and remove them from the care of their parent guardian or decide that the child goes to stay with another family member. They could also decide to take no further action. After the meeting, parents should be sent a letter setting out what was discussed and decided at the meeting and what the next steps in the case will be. This may be a letter before proceedings or a letter of issue. Duncan Lewis solicitors have specialist solicitors who represent clients in this niche area of law. Please visit our website or call us directly on 033 377 20409.